On this episode of the Carolina Sports Guy, yeah, folks, we're going to do it again. We're going to review the Carolina Panthers versus Buffalo Bills Week 15 matchup. Before we get into today's video, make sure you subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. Pound that like button. Hit that bell notification to be notified of future videos like this on the Carolina Panthers. And hey, folks, leave me some comments. I love the dialogue. Well, folks, I guess when you're on a roll, you're on a roll. And right now, the Carolina Panthers are on a downward spiral roll. Doesn't look good. Now, I did have a feeling that they would play with a little bit more heart. It seems like the tougher the opponent, the Panthers do tend to show up a little bit better. And I was more impressed with the defense in the first half than what I've been seeing lately. Now, our offense is atrocious. There's no doubt about it. But let's get one thing out of the way. Before the game even started, we less lost our most important offensive weapon. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Zane Gonzalez, kicker. Most consistent thing we've had on offense and hurts himself during warm-ups, uh, taken out of the game or without a kicker. You're talking about the black cat syndrome. We really got it, folks. Losing the kicker hurt, and it did right away. We got in the game early on, and Cam brought the Panthers down, drove, got around the 20-yard line. We had a fourth and nine. Should have been a field goal attempt, which I believe Gonzalez would have nailed. We got to go for it. Now, I don't understand what Matt Rule was thinking on another possession in the first quarter. And we're around midfield and had, what, like a fourth and nine again or something and goes for it. With, there's really no points in the game. I don't think it was any points in the game. Buffalo might have had a sub nothing lead, but I think there was no points in the game. And there was no points in the game. As a matter of fact, because we went for it and didn't get it, Buffalo had outstanding field position and ends up uh, taking advantage and scoring on their first possession after that fourth and uh, a four down turnover by the Panthers. Now, I will say this. I thought it was going to be Field snow versus the Buffalo snow. And don't really see any snow in Buffalo in the cold weather up there. I feel snow did have the defense playing better in the first half. The sad thing was, folks, when you're losing and things aren't going your way, you tend to really lose out and mess up. Man, Buffalo really got shellacked at first by Carolina's pass rush pressure. Panthers got to find a way to keep us on Reddick, folks. I don't care if you franchise tag him, what you got to do. We got to find a way to pay the man. His motor never stops. He looks very good at what he does. He's always adding pressure. He's been well worth the price of admission this year as a Panther fan, I think. So I tell you, we've got to somehow find a way to bring this guy back. Put a lot of pressure. Brian Burns, the, the fumble was made. He had a ball right there in his hands goes through and can't pick the ball up, and the Buffalo lineman does. If he scoops it up, he scores. Probably should have just fell on the ball because it was around the 20-yard line or so, 25-yard line. But if he scoops that ball up instead of going through his hands, he's, he's in the end zone. We're going to score and have a 7 nothing lead. Now, I know Cam had some bad plays, uh, and I really see this thing where we had like a fourth and one or two and Cam optioned out. It's supposed to have been a run. He saw something he didn't like. He threw a terrible ball, but it's a good thing it was because Robbie Anderson would have got lit up or the ball would have been interception, would have been a pick six. Cam didn't, didn't turn the ball over, didn't do too bad until he threw that late fourth quarter interception when the game was practically over. Uh, he was beating up all day, folks. And um, I, I, I hate seeing what's become of the man because everybody keeps saying, well, you're not winning with Cam. Cam's 0-17 as a starter. It's not all on Cam, folks. Um, and for you, like I said, you P.J. Walker fans, when he's been in the game, I haven't been impressed with his play at all either. Uh, Cam did have a nice touchdown pass in the game during Amir Abdullah. He did run in one early on. But when you got to go for two on every touchdown or whatever and can't get it, you know, I, I, really the one thing I want to concentrate on there's just this lack of discipline, and it starts with the coaching staff. Because we had held Buffalo on the down, on the third down, and held. And stupid-ass Bravion Roy, where was he coaching college? Matt Rule of Baylor. 
or as the coach now, Carolina Panthers, Matt Rule, on the sideline and as a ticky-tack push he did. Now, I don't think it should have been a penalty, and I believe it would have been fourth down or it would have been third and long and really kept their drive going where they scored. If that doesn't happen, folks, I think we're still in the game at that point in time because at one time we were down, what, 14-6, to six. Uh, maybe it's, maybe it was you know around that area seventeen six, but we were in the game, and I know when we made it our fourteen eight. I know when we made it, uh, you know we got fourteen points, and they had twenty four already. But I'm I'm just telling the sad thing is, it should not have been a penalty. It was ticky tack, um, but Bravion Roy's got to do a better job of controlling his emotions on the sideline and pushing to a ref. It was stupid on his part. Matt Rule should have lit his ass up instead of lighting Cam up every chance he gets. Um, not much good we can take out of this game, folks, from the offensive standpoint because it is like watching paint drive with this offense. Um, but our defense did, at least in the first half, come to play. I know they gave up 31 points, but I, seven of those points is kind of critical errors done by this pitiful, pitiful lack of discipline. And... Uh, Man, Matt Rule and his guys got their work cut out for him because it just doesn't look good right now. It is not pretty. Um, and, I, and I thought it would have been a 10-point loss, 27-17, and not know we're going to lose the kicker. And at one time it was 24-14 until Buffalo got their late last touchdown. But, like I said, doesn't look good in the upcoming weeks. I don't know if we can muster a win in these last three weeks. But this Buffalo game, and one thing I will also comment, not trying to come down on a fan base. But Buffalo, I know you lost your NBA team in the 70s, the Braves. I know you've never had baseball. I know you got like a FBS college of Buffalo. The big things Buffalo's got is the Bills in the NFL and the Sabres in the HL. You got two of the whining, this crying, this bitching, this just belly aching freaking fans in the whole world. I know this for a fact when the Buffalo Sabre fans come down to Raleigh to watch the Hurricanes. They bitch, moan, and cry like a bunch of bitches. And a Buffalo Bills fan, every little thing didn't go their way. Every little ticket. Cause look, I saw the Panthers being held all day long. The defense was held on the line all day long by the Buffalo Bills offensive line. And it let Josh Allen get a chance to, to warm up and, and, and get going. And if a play didn't go their way, oh, my God, the Buffalo fans just belly ached and moaned after they saw the play on the big board. I know it's cold in Buffalo. I know it's a shitty-ass place to live. But every time a play doesn't go your way, oh, they're moaning and groaning. Oh, it's cold. Oh, we live in a shitty area. Oh, can you give us a break? And the refs did. Shame on you, Buffalo Bills fans, for crying and bitching. That's why those four years in a row you went to the Super Bowl and lost all four. That's why you bitch and moaned all your way to all those losses. Because you bitch and moan every time you don't get your way. I'm not a fan. But this is about the Carolina Panthers. And, folks, we're abysmal right now. We're abysmal. And right now we're looking at it like a top seven draft pick. And uh, I just don't see anything good in sight coming for this year. And I'd give Matt Rule one more year. But if you can't turn around, buddy, you got to go. Okay, folks, what do you think of today's video? What disappointed you the most with the Buffalo Bill game with Carolina? Who disappointed you the most? Was it Cam? Was it coaching? Was it lack of discipline? What impressed you the most? For me, it was that defensive pressure we really got after them. Leave me some comments. I love the dialogue. Pound that like button. Hit that bell notification. Be notified of future videos like this on the Panthers. And by all means, folks, by all means, son, Uncle Chucky's begging. Subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. I will see you on another episode of Carolina Sports Guy.